Hey Fit Fam, we have reached fit tip number 25 for a healthier year. Today's fit tip is eat whole natural foods. One of the best ways to lose weight and not just lose weight, but feel better, look better, have more energy, feel better, like less joint pain, less muscle pain, less digestive issues, all kinds of things. One of the best things you can do is just eat whole natural foods. The way that God created them to be, that's how your body was intended to eat and digest and process and use food. It's so easy in this day and age to rely on fast foods, convenience foods, cheap packaged junk foods made of foods that were never intended to go into our body. Things made with chemicals and preservatives and things that your body just has a hard time digesting and using properly. What your body was designed to do is to eat foods in a natural state. So when I say whole natural foods, I don't necessarily just mean anything you can pick up at your local whole food store. But I mean the types of foods that are around the circumference of the grocery store. So the produce, the fresh meats, the fresh vegetables, dairy, things like that. Not all the stuff within the middle of the store. Of course there are good things there like quinoa and brown rice and some of those things. But eating food that is whole and natural just means basically eating food that hasn't really changed much since it was taken from the earth. So fruits, vegetables, potatoes, rice, preferably brown rice, protein like meat products, organic chicken, organic grass-fed beef, um, fish, non-farm raised fish. So even with animals, even with fruit and those kind of things, dairy, you still have to watch where they're coming from because nowadays so many things are processed on farms and with antibiotics and with growth hormones and things that are horrible for your body. So always go organic, go grass fed, um, go vegetarian fed, anything um, organic and in its purest state is the best possible thing for your body. And because your body kind of knows how to use that and doesn't have to work so hard dealing with chemicals and additives and preservatives, your digestion will probably improve, your energy levels will improve, and it's pretty guaranteed that you will lose weight. And it's very hard to overeat these types of foods. Even things like brown rice, most people aren't gonna gorge on brown rice even though it's a carbohydrate or like a sweet potato. Yes, those are carbohydrates, but they're good carbohydrates that your body can use and process well. They're full of fiber and vitamins and minerals. So the problem with things like carbs is that people eat the refined white junk, um, things that come in packages and that you get at um, restaurants, things cooked in vegetable oils and things like that. So not that oil's bad, but you wanna stick with avocado oil and coconut oil and things like that. When you're eating, when you're going to the grocery store trying to plan your diet and what to eat, it's not, doesn't have to be overly complicated. Just eat foods that come from the earth. Eat foods that God put here and that we were intended to be able to farm and to eat and to use and stay away from the things that come in packages and try to limit your eating out at restaurants to very few and far between um, or make sure you really know what's going into that food when you do eat and choose restaurants that serve organic natural foods. This is probably one of the best tips that I can possibly give you because weight loss, muscle gain, health is pretty much about 80% of what you eat. It's what you're putting into your body, not just what you're doing at the gym that matters the most. Uh, also, if you want to know more about this, I went into a little bit more detail in a weight loss series that I did with the company ProSource called Diet for Wedding. It was a series following one of my clients on her weight loss journey to lose 20 pounds for her wedding. And there's a whole series and there's one particular on learning to meal prep and going into what whole natural healthy foods are. It's episode number five. So look up in YouTube, Diane's Challenge, uh, episode five, and that will give you a little bit more details. All right, good luck on your fitness journey and I'll see you on the next video.